Hey guys, welcome back to my random channel, or welcome if you're new here. You guys clicked on this video because we're going to unbox the Telfar and Melissa collab. I have the bag here. The bag dropped last Friday, so it's been a week, and I got it delivered like a few days ago, two days ago. I wanted to share the experience with you guys. I have already seen the bag because my sister ordered the same bag as well. We both got the medium size, but since she got it delivered before me i was like send me pictures like what does it look like because we were so excited right the way that telfar sold this bag on the website like the pictures were just so amazing they had like the best studio light because that bag looked like it was an iridescent vibe uh, they had like water in it they just made it look so good like i was like oh my god i want that bag and when i showed it to my sister she's like i want it too so we both got the medium size this is the box that it comes in a little larger than usual usually they're like flatter and a bit more wide so like i said i've seen the bag already not in person but i do already have more cons than pros so kind of disappointed about that but it is what it is like i still think that it's a one-of-a-kind bag you know and i just i'm glad to have it in my collection but in my mind and my heart and my soul i thought it was going to be different like okay so first and foremost let's talk about the dust bag it's like in this canvas dust bag very canvas material and it says melissa and then i guess like telfar is upside down like that's just the way that they want to display their collab that's their logo made in brazil the bag is made in brazil i didn't know that that's like uh i wonder if it says that on all the other bags actually that's interesting i'm going to check the other dust bags so i hate when my watch shows um right away you can smell the plastic it's not like that overbearing cheap plastic smell but it's giving very much plastic like like if it was sitting in the hot sun and it's just you know what i mean you know what i mean all right so here she is here she is i already know what i want to say first i already know what i want to say first because i told you guys it's like the third time that i say it i've seen it already and it's giving dirty it's giving dirty it's giving cloudy it's giving oxidized and I know you're like, well, it's plastic. Like, what do you expect? But they could have cleaned it thoroughly before putting it in this bag and then shipping it off. Like, we spent a lot of our good, hard-earned money on this. And so I just feel like they literally produced it and then just, like, stuck it in a bag. It's very scratched. Let me get closer. You guys probably cannot see it via camera, but it's, like, super scratched. It's very dirty. The sides, I don't know if you guys can see, but the sides are very, I don't know if it's going to focus, but like this right here is already crappy. It's like really messed up. This right here, you can kind of see it a little bit better on this side. The logo is a bit 3D, like it pops out more than usual. So that's kind of cute, I guess. It's like a little bubbly vibe. And then the bottom also has these like ridges that make the bag stand so when you like want to put it on the floor they also pop out um my bag is really dirty you guys it's like really dirty it's really scratched and that's just like taking away all the fun for me like it's 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 i don't know i'm i'm disappointed my sister said she was disappointed i'm disappointed like it doesn't look anything like the pictures um, but let's talk about it a little bit some more. So it has these two straps. It's heavy, by the way, it's heavy. You know, it's very thick plastic. So I guess that's a plus. We didn't like get some cheap plastic. These straps are heavy as well. I'm like out of breath carrying this bag. And it is a hot day, but still. Um, okay, so those are the straps. And then there's no side pocket. Usually Telfar bags have like a little zip side pocket. There's no side pocket. And the sides have like this thick little circular tube piece going around. Same as this side. But other than that, there's not much to say. 
It's so scratched. I'm really sad. It's scratched. I'm going to do my best to clean it thoroughly. Uh, my sister kind of like cleaned hers out and then she like showed me a before and after and it did look a bit better. It did look a bit better after she cleaned it. I still don't feel that we as a customer who bought the item should have to do all that. Like we shouldn't have to get a brand new item and clean it out. Um, especially for the price that we paid. I didn't even get a receipt. I didn't get a receipt. So what is this? Melissa XT Medium Telfar Clear, made in Brazil. A little tag here that says it. But yeah, they didn't give me a receipt. Usually I get a receipt, but I think before tax it was 200. So with tax it was probably, I mean, no more than like, I don't know, 230, 240. Definitely not. I don't know. I don't know. I need to look at my email, but this is the Telfar <laughs> Melissa collab. Um. I don't know. I know. I'm usually more excited about my Telfar bags, but um, what else can I say? Uh, this medium size is a bit smaller. This one particularly is smaller than the regular medium size uh, by width and height. So I actually have my white one here. I'll try to compare it. You can't really tell. You can't tell that much but like it's a little bit shorter it's a little bit shorter and then if i can do the width you see how this one is like sticking out a little bit here it's like to the end here so like it's just a teeny bit smaller by inches i guess you could say but she is smaller and I hope that my point of view changes about her. What really sold me was the pictures. Like the pictures look so good on the website. And now that I have it in person, it's not giving what the pictures are. But I think once I clean her out and I actually have like stuff in her, like I think she'll look cuter. You know what I mean? I'm just not sure about the straps. My whole thing was that I didn't want to get the small one because when I get small Telfars, I tuck the straps in and I carry it by these handles and so I figured it's going to be clear it's going to be see-through right transparent and I'm like they're going to see like all the straps just taking up all the room in there like what else can I fit in there and so since I really really like my medium white tail for I was like I'm gonna get the medium size but now that I'm thinking about it it's kind of going to be the same thing like if I tuck in the straps heavy ass thick ass straps you'll still be able to see them you know but it's not that bad because i guess there's like room over here would i be crazy if i cut them off i don't know i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna wear her i'm definitely gonna wear her i'm not gonna try to resell it i definitely you know overall i'm happy that i did purchase the bag and it is part of my collection I will say that I think not many people were interested in this one because usually Telfar bags, they sell out like within two minutes. I was watching the time on this one, like the time frame. The first thing to sell out were the sandals. They had sandals that matched this. Second piece to sell out was the small. And I think the people preferred the small one, if anything, because nowadays you need like a clear bag to get into concerts and like arenas any type of arena whether it's sports or you know whatever so i think it's really ideal for that i know that's what my sister wanted it for um and then the third one was the large the large the, the medium was the last to sell out so it was sandals small large and then medium i'm like okay i did not have to set my alarm for this one i could have like woke up late late and still been able to get this one because it was literally available for like four hours so yeah, I guess, um, I guess that's, that's what's going on with Telfar and Melissa, but I just wanted to show you guys, I wanted to share this with you guys, I don't know if Telfar will ever re-release them, if they're going based off of how soon they sold out, I would assume that they're not going to release it again, because that means nobody really was interested, but you never know, and if they do re-release it, <laughs> think about it twice y'all like we're really out here paying hundreds of dollars for some plastic that's dirty and scratched <laughs> um but yeah that's just my opinion that's just my opinion i haven't seen any other reviews yet so we shall see what the girls 
say about it. Definitely, I'm thinking I'm gonna use her like as a pull bag, you know? Like I think she'll be a cute pull bag. Perhaps a little, you know, personal item like when we travel. But I think I'm thinking more pull. Like it's giving pull. I can't really fit like a towel in here, but I can fit like my sunblock, you know, the little things that I'm gonna take. We'll see. You know what's next? What's in my bag video? So stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in to my unboxing slash review. Tell for Melissa bag. I will see you guys in my next random video.